Namaste, greetings from Nepal. I am Bukhar Gandhari, uh, Yes, Nepal founding action coordinator. Uh, the topic for me here is uh, subsidy for agriculture do more harm than good. Uh, critics argue that agriculture subsidy will distort market, encourage all production of certain crops and benefit large agribusiness over the small farmers. Yeah, currently myself working as an uh, agriculture development officer in Nepal. Uh, we have three tiers of government in Nepal. We have uh, federal government, provincial government, and local government. And uh, Nepal uh, constitution also follow the rule of coexistence, coordination, and uh, cooperation between these three tiers of government for the agriculture development. And it's been long the subsidy practice have been in our country. Uh, as a local agriculture development officer since uh, last three fiscal years in Nepal, I have gone through this uh, subsidies practice. And currently we have gone through, uh, after uh, one week, we'll be in our next fiscal year. I have planned in this next fiscal year with the no subsidy and practice of uh, production-based incentive. Uh, currently it's the global village and the, uh, with the global village, uh, it's been with the digital license. And in agriculture context, uh, I have uh, implemented the digital uh, uh, system in my uh, rural municipality. I'm from Mid Hill of Nepal, from Golmi district. Uh, in that uh, area, uh, though I cannot uh, have impact over the big region, but I can have impact over the small region. I have practiced, uh, I have stepped some forward with my uh, small uh, local uh, municipality. Uh, I have practice of uh, 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 stopping the subsidy practice and starting the uh, output based uh, incentive to the farmers. Uh, we have local farmers, we have producing uh, vegetables, fruits, uh, cereal crops, uh, meats, uh, and so on. But uh, very farmers at small level scale farmers, we have uh, we have to live uh, with those uh, economy, with those uh, source of income for their livelihood. Almost 84 percent of our local area people are farmers. 84 percent. It uh, seems like huge, but almost in our country countries we have uh, almost 65 uh, percent people uh, contribute in the agriculture sector as a main occupation in Nepal. And uh, I think uh, for the failure uh, of the agriculture development in our country is this subsidy also. Uh, so. Uh, this sub, uh, instead of subsidy, we have to go other practice, like which we have initiated in our region, like collection center at various uh, ward level. Uh, we have our uh, local municipality consists of eight uh, different wards. Means uh, we, our uh, municipality cover 112 uh, square kilometer of the area. Uh, over it, we have eight different regions, and we uh, I have established. Uh, uh, with the coordination with the local farmers uh, at different uh, collection center and the data based on the collection center we will provide uh, incentive to those uh, small scale farmers that motivate them. For the subsidy, they have to go through lots of procedure for applying the application, after the application, field verification, and again uh, to implement the program. That means besides working on the production sector, they have to go on the uh, make the documentation. That's uh, tedious for the farmers. So this very subsidy itself uh, good for, um, it's a very bad for the farmers' development and the uh, agriculture production too. That's why uh, I think production-based incentive will be best for the farmers and so that the farmer can be motivated uh, to go through the production sector and what the main role. And I believe agriculture is the way of life. In Nepali, we call Kesi Mulasa Jivanam in our uh, country uh, in the way, uh, that's why. Instead of subsidy, we have to uh, provide incentive in other way for the farmers. Farmers should involve in the production sector, not involving them to other territories. Thank you.